Swapping out the mechanical hard drive in an iMac for a solid state drive is one of the best ways to make it go faster. Hi, this is David of Tech for Baba, a channel I share my experiences on how technology enhances my time with kids and family as a dad. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please consider subscribing. In today's video, I'll go over how I swap an SSD into my late 2013 27-inch iMac. If you have an iMac from 2012 to 2020, the RAM, storage on some models, and even the CPU can be upgraded. The quickest and easiest is to add RAM if you have a 27-inch iMac. I'll link a video here and below in the description on how easy it can be done. It'll save you hundreds if not thousands of dollars to do it yourself instead of buying more memory pre-installed from Apple. If you haven't done that, check out my other video and add enough memory first. If your older iMac still has a slow mechanical hard drive inside, the next best thing is to either boot off an external SSD or swap out a mechanical hard drive for a much faster and more reliable solid state drive inside. This is more involved, but with preparation and patience, it could be done and the reward is great. First, here are the items we need. An SSD hard drive, of course. Here I have the Crucial MX500 2TB SSD a 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch internal SSD mounting bracket, an OWC thermal sensor and tools, and lastly, the adhesive strips for taping the screen back when we're done. All right, let's do it. You take the tool and then start in the corner and work it from the edge here. You're breaking the adhesive in between the screen and the case. Work all the way around. You may hit a few bumps here by the camera. Take these handles, attach to the screen, suction cups, one on each side, give you leverage. You can actually use this other end to prop it open. You have to be very careful. The monitor is the screen, actually, a big piece. Now, when you open this up, there are two cables underneath for the monitor. You need to disconnect these first. Okay, this one just pulls right off. Like so. Okay, this one there's a clamp. You pull. Okay, those are the two. You can lift the screen off. To this, there may be connections back here by the edge. You need to do more cutting with the tool. This is what it looks like inside, underneath that big huge screen. Note that this is upside down, so the left will be right and right will be left. Here's your left speaker, the right speaker, the hard drive that we'll replace later the fan, the power supply board, and the main motherboard. So first we take off the left speaker, the two T10 screws holding them down, and there it comes off. You don't actually have to remove it, you could just leave it out here on the side, off to the side. Next is the hard drive, here's the cable. You slowly twist it, left and right, disconnect it, SATA cable, and then there are two T10 screws holding this drive in. And be careful not to touch 
the solder points and the capacitors here underneath. The hard drive should just come off. Okay. So here's the ore hard drive. This just comes off, no screws. There are four T10 screws here. Make sure we keep these. We'll need this later to mount the SSD drive. Here's the much faster SSD drive that we're gonna swap in. You do need to get a 2.5 to 3.5 hard drive adapter. I'll put a link down below in the descriptions. It's not expensive, it's like $10 or so. And you do need to also get an adapter cable that comes with a thermal sensor or temperature sensor. Without this, if you plugged in the drive directly to the SATA cable on the iMac, the fan will be constantly on at high. So all we need to do here is to put the anchors back for them. Two screws that hold them down. And then just plug this in. Now again, the screen needs to be retaped. Before you put the new tape in, do put the screen back and tape it up with some masking tape and try it out before you seal it back. Once you make sure everything works, you wanna scrape off any old adhesives along the sides here and also in the back of the screen before we put on the new one. Piece of package you get, they're usually the same. They're labeled like 11 is for your top left corner, 12 is for your top right corner, 13 is for your right side, and 16 is for your left side. And then there are two more, 14 and 15, that goes on the back of the screen. These are double-sided tapes, so you tear off the back, put these stickers all on the back case first and on the back of the screen. Then when you're ready, you tear off the top and put the screen back on. There are holes on the side here. You can see a small hole here. Let's see if it will pick it up. Where you can actually use a small screwdriver to guide you into a little hole here on the edge of the frame. Uh, for example, on this side, there's a small hole here, and you can put it on here. There's a little hole right here. Now, before we close everything up, you may want to take a cloth to clean up. All right. It now boots up so much faster. It used to take over a minute, now only less than 20 seconds, and everything just feels snappier. This upgrade does take preparation and patience, but it's very rewarding. Especially if you like to tinker like me. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please help me by smashing the like button and share. How old is the iMac you're using? I'd love to know in the comments below. If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life with kids and family, please subscribe and turn on the bell to be notified when I put out my next video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, cherish each moment.